Yo, what's going on guys? This is Painful here and welcome to a mod tutorial. A lot of you guys have been requesting this for probably a long time, that's all I can say. And um, there's actually other tutorials uh, on on the internet, as you guys know. The internet is fairly large, but anyways guys, let's get right into this. So today, we're going to be needing to download Forge. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this link and you're going to download it. So it's in the description below, it is called link number one. And all you're going to do is you're going to go down here and click in installer okay and now it's gonna um, you know take its time download it's gonna bring you to this link and it's a it's an ad page so just wait here in the top right corner till this counts down to zero and then you're just gonna basically just click on skip okay and now it's gonna open up the file and uh, you can download the file just go ahead and click on it and now it's gonna open up this okay and all you're gonna do make sure it's selected on install client and then you're gonna go ahead and hit OK. But just before that, make sure, double check, make sure all your Minecrafts are closed. Um, this won't work if your Minecraft is open. So just hit install client and there we go, it's installed. Now, just to make sure, we're gonna go to our uh, little, uh, open up your Minecraft, wherever it is, go to edit profile. And what you're gonna do is, is you're just gonna scroll down to the bottom and you should have um, something that looks like this, the 1.7.10 forge. Um, so you're just going to go ahead and click on that and then click save profile and then you're going to go ahead and close it. Now we're finished with that. Okay, now in the description below, there's a link number two. You're just going to go ahead and download this. Okay, save file. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to download this. So I've already, uh, you know, downloaded it onto my computer here. Um, now for those using um, Windows 7, this is slightly different for you it's pretty much the same thing now just for those using Windows 7 down here just click on it and then there should be a search bar and just type percent app data percent and everyone using Windows 8 click on your Windows key Windows key and press R it's just gonna open this up and as you see percent app data percent go ahead and open that up we're gonna go to the dot minecraft folder and actually for you guys if you guys haven't installed any mods there actually won't even be a mod folder here so we'll just go ahead and delete that and show you what it is now we don't want to drag this specific mod folder that you guys downloaded in there because it's actually a dot zip so what you're gonna do just right click your desktop new folder and name it mods it has to be exactly like this no uppercase no lower uh, well obviously lowercase um okay now all you're gonna do is open up this folder and you're gonna extract all of the mods within that other folder into this one so there we go and now all you do is you drag it into your dot minecraft folder and okay now you will have all these mods you're safe to open up your minecraft now let's open this up and just click on play now it's gonna, it could take a couple of seconds there for you guys to um, for, to download the mods and everything. But um, now we're gonna get into, I guess, the configuration. Um, now I'm not really gonna talk too much about the configuration. I can kind of give you guys an idea of what my settings look like. And I can even show you, um, like take a screenshot, I'll pause at like uh, a certain part and you guys can screenshot what my settings are like. So we're just gonna go to single player, James's world. And okay, so we probably have our shaders on right now. Let's turn these off. Okay, so we are here in our single player world. Now basically, if you guys don't know what some of these mods are, it's armor status so let's go ahead and put on I guess, I guess just some diamond armor one two three four as you see um, on the on the on the right side of my screen um, it basically states you know my armor uh, what condition it is so if, if someone hits me obviously the numbers will go lower and uh, things like that it'll also show for like potions um, for example if you drink a fire potion this is called potion status it shows how much duration is on the side of your screen instead of having to open up your inventory and look so these mods are pretty awesome now and I'll also like this other mod here I'll show you if you open up your options actually yeah open up your options and go to toggle sneak options now for mine I have my uh, mine invisible but it's basically called toggle sneak so you can set a keybind so so you can run with a certain button just in controls and then go to sprint and I've set mine to my button four. so basically as you see there it says sprinting toggled on my screen I click my button four, it'll turn off and I'm walking now if I click my button four again I am running like it you will just keep running so I personally find that to be very helpful and I think you guys will as well 
Also, this contains uh, Optifine. A lot of you guys probably know what that is. Basically, you can set uh, the commands and controls. Just go back to controls, scroll down to where it says zoom, and set it to whatever you want. So mine is Z. I can go ahead and press that, and I can uh, zoom in and you know just see things like. It, and it makes your FPS a lot better as well for those unfamiliar with Optifine. But that's basically it. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. Um, you know what these mod configurations look like um, so we're gonna go into mods and then we're gonna just kind of scroll down here these are all the mods you guys downloaded so if we click on armor status HUD and click on config these are my settings so you guys can pause the video and switch all your settings to mine if you would like or you can adjust them to whatever you guys would prefer um, but yeah I'll just scroll down kind of slowly for you guys and you can pause it uh, wherever you would like alright that's that page so this is the armor status done and now we're gonna go scroll down to the direction HUD. So this actually doesn't need to be edited. All it is is just a compass that's basically on your screen. So the status effect is basically gonna be um, the potions. So it'll show all of the, the timers on your potions. So we'll scroll down nice and slow for you guys on this. Just so you guys can pause the video and copy it if you guys would like. All right, that's potion status. And I think that is all. I mean, the one other part you could edit is the toggle sneak the positioning wherever you would want the toggle sneak but i personally don't need to edit the position seeing how i don't play with it on like it's 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 disabled you can't see it on my screen but you guys can mess around with it whatever you guys would like to do it's all customizable to whatever you guys basically want so guys that's gonna wrap up today's uh, tutorial this is actually my first tutorial so guys leave some comments below tell me what you guys think um what other tutorials should i do and um you guys have a good one